Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is one tech TV. In, I invite you to the diary, the f uh, platform of economy forum. Today I want to talk about uh, uh, how divide the rule has affected uh, the development in the uh, in democratic country and the repercussions and the consequences of what has been being hidden that has made the democratic government all over the world from America to South Africa, Nigeria, Kenya, uh, and many other countries which follow democracy. They are facing the same problem where they have been uh, talking too much against communism and the monarchies countries who are doing very well economically. But what is happening in democratic countries, there is a, a, a problem. When they fully adapted the fight that the rule, which was a, a principle of Roman Empire, they did maintain it until they, uh, it has become overtaken by the time. Now, today I want to start by talking something happening in all these democratic countries. There, there is a lot of uh, brutality, especially by police forces, but it is misinterpreted, especially in America, to look like as in, it's an issue between white and black. Okay, there could be small element like that, but economically, realistically, when a brutality is done by a police, a white policeman to a white man, the media go quiet. When a black policeman has committed brutality against a black man, then the media go quiet. But when it is a policeman against a black man or a black man against a white policeman, it becomes a, 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 a match which is talk of violence. Why is that? One thing you are forgetting is after the brutality, the person who is a victim is supposed to, to follow the justice to the judicial system, which is very expensive, which is very expensive that to afford a lawyer until the case is fully settled is no big joke. Judge can be compromised because, you know, of, of, of course, judge will hear the most charismatic talking side. That is when they decide who is who, who is who. And the justice is very expensive to pursue because it is not free. So when we are looking, what is the repercussion and the consequences of brutality and the suspicion that is practiced by policemen? At the beginning, did you say it's somebody who qualified to be called a suspect? No. But majority of democratic countries, they train their police to suspect even when there is no cases to be suspected. Another thing which happened is that they forgot these people, they are violating our taxpayer. Some of them very innovative, some of them, you can see even men in army uniform being abused, being brutalized, being arrested. In jail you could see people being suffocated while they are pretending they are overlapping him to stop him from being violent. But none of them is looking at the economic repercussion and the consequences of what you do. Every person should be a successful taxpayer because of service he gets from the government. In most of the countries, especially in Africa, the brutality is not reported. And it is too much. In Asia, the same. But you go to communist country, especially country like Tanzania, even a person is told, take yourself to the police station. And this other person will obey because he is brought up in an automobile of respecting the law. But when you are brought up in an automobile where 
demo, demagogerism and egoism is practiced, you grow fear of not respecting zero or representing yourself to zero if required. Then the policeman, when there is no job or when there is, they are not busy, they want to create or to compete for promotion by using violence or provoking somebody to become violent so that that somebody can qualify to be brutalized. But why is this happening? Let us look what, what it, where it did start. It starts with something called the divided rule. How does the divided rule start? It starts with individualism, capitalism, familyism, Kiranism, uh, tribalism, then regionalism, then it go to uh, continentalism, then continentalism. At the same, it go something called Karalism. And after Karalism, it come Kirasirism. That is what happened. Now, this is something that happened because somebody is feeling I cannot share same, same, uh, same house, same platform, same role with these people, lower people, uh, something like that. And it go on and go on until it become economy disaster. If you go to monarchy country, they have final decision maker. The final decision maker is king or queen. So if you, are, if you feel justice has not been done to you, you can appeal to the crown. But when you come to, to democratic country, <laughs> the first thing, it is a business. From basic need to justice, it is business. So if you don't have money to pursue, and even you might have uh, certain money, but you don't belong to certain class, you don't belong to certain tribe, you don't belong to certain family, you don't belong to certain um, <laughs> job class. So you will find what happened, <laughs> you will still be discriminated even with your money. <laughs> You bribe but the bribe, but at the end of the day, you will feel here you did not get justice. See, those are in democratic country. You might even bribe, even you do what, even you do anything that you think can, can bring justice to you, but you won't find it because of defied the rules. Not many people know that the fight of the rule is too bad to economy because when it affects certain uh, people like innovative people, for example, if they don't get their right, innovative inventors, discoverer, they stop bringing new things in the market. When they stop bringing new things in the market, what happens? Your country will not be able to compete economically with the other country. Your product will not be enough. When you don't have enough product, you are exporting to counterbalance import and the exports. You know what happened? Your country will not be allowed to print money. If you print, it will be devalued. If you, it is devalued, you know the, the loss of business will go all the way to the person on the cloud who is a final taxpayer. So the increasing of salary of the workers, of government workers are the other. How can it happen if your country is not exporting more than importing? The salary either will remain or currency will be devalued and they will be told, ah, we have increased your salary. But after the variation of currency, the prices of commodity go up. That is why one tech channel, like after some time, talking about 
economy. Remember, I, I always tell you that whatever you do in life is economically connected. And when it's economically connected, you cannot deny that when the loss happens, it will not hurt you. You might feel comfortable because you are in possession which has not been affected economically uh, by the variation of currency. Your salary might remain the same, so it might remain untouched. For that reason, it is very good we think how to respect one another to avoid defy the, uh, the rule, to, to avoid defy the rule. It has no benefit. It is the worst type of governance system.